I'm going to be coaching Matty over the next six weeks to get in shape and I'm going to show you how you can do it even with an injury. Mate, that is going to look so bad with the way I'm <laughs> 29, uh, generally quite an active person, looking to try and use Aaron to get back in shape. I uh, feel like I've just lost my way a little bit. So here we go. First of all, who hits the golf ball further, me or you? You hit the ball slightly further, but I am also a bit of a monster. So. <laughs> <laughs> Let's talk about the injury. What happened? Pull my pec muscle off the bone, trying to bench press too much, just popped, uh, and unfortunately I've had to have surgery and slept with a nice little scar. Yeah. What's happened since then? You've had surgery like two months ago? Yeah, just over two months ago. Pretty much can't use this side. Looking to try and use a program that can just help me work my core. And... So as you can see, it's pretty restricted on one side, but there is still plenty you can do. So that's going to be our main aim. Now, you're going to holiday, Second week of August? Yeah, so six weeks. We've got six weeks. Where would you, where do you sort of want to be? Where are you going towards? What's the goal? We want to be a little bit more muscle mass back and a little less body fat on the old abdominal. You know, abdominal. Be... Matty did ask me a question that I'm going to refer, uh, <laughs> refer to later when he was like, so what specific exercise are we going to do to uh, <laughs> get, rid of, get rid of this? And we will talk about this later. Listening to what Matt said, I think the main goal is just to get you on a path to moving in the right direction, you know. And we're gonna start by going through one session that I've set him at the three day full body program that we are doing. And then after that, we're gonna explain a bit more about lifestyle, what we're gonna do in nutrition. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right, Matthew. Easy, nice little warm up. So, can you do any rotator work on that shoulder? Uh, a little bit. What we're gonna do is a bit of an external rotation on your, so prop one leg up. This would be good side first, and really, because you've got side. No, good side. Okay, perfect. So knee high, elbow on top of your knee. Yeah. What you're going to do here, just grip, come all the way down, and then all the way up. I want 10 each side. Is that heavy? Yeah, it's all right. Yeah? You didn't care about swimming pool? No. <laughs> so when you start by lifting it up, okay, and that's then your cue, push the one back, and then press forward, okay? So it's a hip hinge, not an so arm hinge. It's exactly. Hey, I'm going to use that. All right, go. Press. That's it. Let the, let the arm swing. Let the arm swing. That's it. Good. God, once you stop swinging, you really aren't dead. Yeah, you're dead. Okay, it's not a little bit of work, but we'll take it. It's not too bad. A bit more flex in the knees that I like. But we're going to work on your arm. This is why we're going to work on his RD out today, all right? Because that can do with a little bit of work. Do you hold a plank position? Yes. Can you hold a top plank position? Don't know. We'll try that for yeah. me. Mm -hmm. Just literally, I don't want you to, to go very light into it. How's that? Yeah, we're good. Is that okay? Yeah. Right, cool. So you're just going to tap each shoulder and we'll take your time. How's that? Yeah, fine. You're actually doing pretty well. Keep this bum as still as you can, though. You don't really want to put in your chest through loads of range of motion, but putting it through like some stability stuff would actually be pretty damn useful. How to master the RDL, okay? I want you to do it first and then I'll work from that. Yeah, All right? let's do it. Bit of a thrust. Nice, Matthew. First work on yeah. stance. Okay, too wide. Yeah, a little bit narrow. Your hands are quite tight as well. Mm -hmm. So then, as soon as you are down, your knees have to come in here. But what you don't need to do is actually go down that far. Because okay. then your knees are starting to come forward as well, and you're moving more into your conventional. Okay. Keep the knees back, push the one back. Next little bit, keep your head looking at that road side of the front. To the road at the bottom. Yeah. Look at it, keep it. Mate, much better. Look at that little finish at the top of that, it's so much nicer. Beautiful, whack it back. Two, three, squeeze. One, two, three, squeeze. That was one of your best reps. One, two, three, squeeze. Mate, absolutely beautiful. That last set was actually the best. Hard on the grip. Jesus, yeah. Hard on the grip. So normally, here's a little fat for you, right? If, so Matty's probably gonna be able to go a lot heavier than this over the next few weeks. Which is why, if he's going to do it, he needs to set some straps. At the end of the day, you don't want your RDL going to the failure of your grip. You want your RDL going to the failure of your hamstrings and glutes. So, if you're ever going to be doing heavy RDLs, make sure you get yourself a set of straps. How much have you been roughly doing that on each side? I don't know. Low. Five? Yeah, five. Yeah? And then stronger side? Forty. Four? <laughs> <laughs> do, you always have, do you always have it this upright? Cool. Yeah, so yeah, that's like actually that. not that upright. If you don't have any slant at all, it's going to be very difficult to get your arm above here. The more of a slant you have on the bench, the better it's going to be for you and alleviating your overhead mobility. So let's go on the weaker side. We know you, you're pretty able with your shoulder press, but I want to see how your form's looking. All right, we're just going to aim for literally an eight to 10. 
Right. Aim. Boring. Is that painful? No. Cool. Try right that. Good. Nice. What's coming more you doing for me there? So the reason why I've got you more in is because if I get you flared out, yeah. back to where you were, yeah. okay, go ahead, right, it naturally restricts your range of motion more. Right? Automatically, your shoulder blades can slide around your back here. Mm -hmm. Where if I put you, if I put you back in this angle, as I go down here, your shoulder blades got nowhere to go. But it's like a block there, isn't yeah, it? Yeah. Like Look how low you can go here. Oh, okay, so I get full range of motion. So you just there. get more range of motion from that angle, and arguably you probably work a little bit more of your anterior delta, which is the, which is actually the aim of shoulder press. So what we did there was we did a basically a variation of dumbbell shoulder press, but we did it with single arm just because. Matty, of course, can't do really heavy on his you know, weaker side yet, but we still want to strengthen up the opposite side. Neurologically, this is going to really help him get back to full strength on the weaker side at the moment. You actually, Most people would think that you're going to gain an imbalance, but imbalances don't happen that quick, and it's actually going to be really good for you. So make sure you train the other side. Before going to the squats, the best and the worst exercise you'll ever do. Right. Mainly because they're brilliant for your fucking legs. Look at it, are you why look at it? I'm trying to work out what's have, you never, have you never seen this before? No. Right, so if anyone's doing Bulgarian split squats on a bench, this is gonna be a game changer for you. I'll take your shoes off this one. You just when you got spongy shoe cells, hard to put the floor. Okay. And so you might feel a bit unstable. Right, I'll get the padding on for you. Right, how are you feeling there? Fantastic, mate. Right, let's see how this goes then. Yeah? Yeah, when you're ready. <laughs> Jesus Christ. There, get closer, you'll be alright. There you go. You always want to do the weaker side first. Nice. How's that feel? <laughs> Shocking. Is it? What, just hard? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a little bit. Loves a wobble. Loves, loves a wobble. The best things about these is no matter what, you know, no matter if you're doing no weight or loads of weight, they're still fucking good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Go all the way down, come all the way up. And you actually find it's going to be a lot easier holding weight. I was going to say, what happens when I come back up? Well, you'll be surprised. I think your quads are a lot stronger than you think. Your actual form is brilliant, by the way. I'm genuinely really happy with it. Oh, the only thing that I would say to you, get this knee going out. You don't ever want to always let drive feel like you're driving out of it. Good. One. Nice. Right, single arm row. Matthew, how strong are you normally? Fairly. We're going to bring in a 10. So, first thing I want to do is show me on your strong side. Oh, it's, all, it's just the lever. Bring it back and through. <laughs> it's just a lever bringing it back and through if only it was just because i think it can sometimes set you up and doesn't give you a nice strong position to pull from so i like to go off of off an object even off a rack in the gym make it easy to straight off the dumbbell rack right and get myself on a proper you know my, most of my front legs taking the weight this hips massively out of the way your sweep isn't bad yeah this isn't a bad motion to be in all around it really isn't yeah but it could be better. Reason being is I want you to try and retract more. So, so pull your shoulder back further and then still take your pinky all the way to your hip. So rather than it feeling like a sweep, you still feel like you pull and really bring it nice and tight in that position. Push your chest out for me. Hello. <laughs> Hello again. <laughs> so that, that's gonna make the that's gonna make the last part. Of where you're here. You you still a bit flat, mate. You're you're here, right? You could be a little bit more there. So look up and it'll just do it for me. Exactly. Like. Pull your shoulder back a bit more, push your chest down. Just want to see. You don't want to lengthen your chest. This one's where it's, where it's at. And there's a reason, like, even the top body builders still do it. Put the door in the Go back to the fundamentals, mate. Can you drop this knee? Can you square this knee up a bit more? There you go. Right, try that. That's so much better. Nice. I just want you to hold a lighter dumbbell just to keep you balanced. Okay. You can actually, when you get better, take it away. Once you're then in this position, we're gonna obviously load up a bit more this side, and I'm just gonna focus on making sure you get the sequence right. Now, where a fly is important is making sure you gradually bend your elbow as you get lower. A lot of people massively keep their arm out, and then they're like, shit, my shoulders start hurting. So just gradually, gradually make sure you bend your elbow as you go down. Dumbbell needs to be in line with the chest at the bottom. How's that feel? Spot on. Yeah? Yeah. Shoulder pain, chest pain, anything? All good? No. Try and keep the load here. So go down here. The reason being is you've got to remember that this is the lever. So the more you then drive, then lead with that, 
more than the shorts and that as you get to the oh, top. Okay. okay. Look at that. Oh, juicy. It's very tough. <laughs> Definitely like flies would be like, the, I think flies would be the last exercise you're going to that shot, that thing, because flies literally tear that exactly. No. So. I don't think I'd ever want to do them again, I'm sleeping. Ah! Not Mate, I've again. seen loads of people that tore their pecs and they've come back bench and still monstrous ways, so. Don't, don't you worry. Next one in, then we're going to do some car phrases. Oh! What a waste of time that is. <laughs> Your favourite. What a freaking waste Your of time. Your favourite. Yes. Whack a plate down. That's just going to give you a bit more range of motion. Toes on the plate. <laughs> Sit yourself down. Dumbbells on top. Put your weight forward. Oh! Look at that wizardry. Okay, you You're impressed, didn't you? Yeah. So when it comes to carbs, we always want to do it slowly. Yeah? It's slow and controlled. So many people think about loading them too much, but where your calf actually works the most is that nice top part, of, you know, top range of motion. Exactly. So when it gets in there, you actually feel it. Like, exactly yeah, you're like, well. hello. Right, well done. Good. The bit we've all been waiting for. Okay, for 10 to 12 here. That's seven, I believe. Right, so set you here. I want to set your elbows back. Yeah. There you go. Now extend. That's it. Control. Stay the way through. Good. Nice, mate. Nice, that's good. Trust it, Someone's been working on their horseshoes. That's one. That's one. Nice. Well done, the rest. Oh. Woo! That's oh, all that bird. Oh, 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 It's Matthew. How was that? Tough. Really tough. Uh, the leg exercises were new. Good. Bulgarian to kill everyone. That is one of the sessions out of the three that Matt is going to do over the next six weeks because he was telling me how he went to the gym once last week and then the week before he went five times. And this is what happens with a lot of people. They're like yo-yoing, they're trying to go five times a week, they're feeling good and then when they're not full of motivation they only go like once. So what we're trying to do is just get him in a nice steady place where he can be consistent which is why we're aiming for three. Even though Mr. Motivated right now is like I can do it every day, I'm going to get massive. But that will die off after a week or two, and we're just gonna focus on being consistent to two, you know, to literally three, and just try and make sure we nail them. Now, nutrition-wise. Yes. You set me 2,400 calories a day, 170 grams of protein. Okay, so he's on 2,400 calories average throughout the week. So if he goes over one day, he can simply just even that out over the next six days. We talked about earlier about how Matty was saying to me, what exercises as are we gonna do to, uh, to get the sort, abs. sort out this area to get the abs? I told him to go out and just do more steps. And honestly, this is the exercise that's gonna help lean you down the most. You can do as many as you want and you're not gonna knack yourself out. Yeah. It's not gonna impinge your session in the gym. Um, and better yet, it's also gonna make you feel better. And plus you've got a dog in there. Yes. Uh, so it works well for him. How many, how many are we gonna try and do? 10,000 steps a day, first few days well over. Today, we've just got a little bit of work to, to get there. Yes. Went, went out this morning for a long one, need to just tip to it. Exactly. Day. Just get it down there, you'll be fine. Build the muscle. Nailed it. Right, we're going to see you in about six weeks. Six weeks. And we're going to see <laughs> what this guy looks like. I really hope he's not so with the Welvers. <laughs> oh, mate, come on. <laughs> I've actually with the Welvers. Oh, God, I've just got the exact same look as the town. <laughs> And Matty, what do you say to finish off a video? See you in six weeks, suckers. <laughs> Can I end like that? No, no. that wasn't it. That wasn't it. What, what do you say? <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? Don't be a dick. There we go. <laughs> See you in a bit.